What's up everyone? On this quick district kit tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add your music into the YouTube content ID database. What that means is that any single time someone plays or uses one of your songs on their YouTube video, you get revenue from it. So essentially I'm on the uploading kind of section right now on district kit as you can see. Basically after you enter in all your information, I'm gonna go down to extras and you can see YouTube money right here. And it's basically $5 a year plus 20% of all YouTube ad revenue for matches we detect. So one, you can be $5 in the hole. Do I think you can make $5 from people using your music all over YouTube in one year? I mean, maybe, but it's really tough to say like, and 20% of it too, that they're gonna be taking out of your earnings. You might lose more money unless you're like a massive artist. Like, yeah, definitely select it. But I mean, you know, as you can see right here, even when I click this, yeah, create all these sounds myself. It does not contain beats or loops from like splice sounds. Promise not to, yeah. So this is all this kind of annoying things, all this annoying stuff you have to deal with when it comes to YouTube money. Not to mention, you might not make that revenue back. Now, one thing I have to stress though, is that if I go up, you'll notice, if I go to genre and I select electronic or hip hop, you'll notice it goes away. So if I go to uh, hip hop as well, uh, where is it? Go to hip hop, also goes away. But the weird thing, if I go to pop, for example, it appears back again. If I go to rock, it appears again. The main reason why is that hip hop and electronics specifically are known for using royalty free samples. What that means is basically go on a platform like Splice Sounds, and this could be a whole other subject for a whole other video, but I do have to stress this. If you go on a platform like Splice Sounds and you download one of their samples, you use it in your songs, it becomes tricky through YouTube content ID detection because it's like, wait, if we both use the same vocal sample legally, we have the rights so it. we legally purchased it. It's royalty free, so you can easily make money from it. But then from a YouTube content ID detection standpoint, it's tough for them to tell, well, if they're both using the same vocal sample, should this song be matched as this one or as this one? And it's tough to say. So a lot of companies who do YouTube content ID detection have said, look, you know, if it's anything EDM or electronic related or hip hop related, just because there's so many samples that people are using and a lot of people, sometimes even hundreds are using the same exact sample, it's tough to tell from one song to another which song we should say it is based off the detection algorithms. Personally, I just don't think this is worth it, but hey, if you want to sign up for it, that's how you do it. We are done with the